Hey, this is your girl, Miss Yella Diva. I am bringing you another episode of Real Housewives, <laughs> Real Housewives of New York. I think it's season 15, episode 3. Yeah, so if you're new here, welcome. Welcome to my channel. If you are not new here, welcome back. I am um I am loving the uh the views I am getting. And if you if you like uh what you see, subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification button so whenever I drop a video, you will be notified. Yes, we can do this. We are all family. We are all family. Okay? So, give me a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. All right, let's get into it because, honey, Uber was on one today, okay? But anyway, let's let's get into it. All right, so, A, okay, so um, they, they are uh, supposed to be going to the Hamptons um, for um, in, in Aaron's place, okay? So... Aaron is already up there in the Hamptons getting everything together. And Abe called um, Aaron. And then um, before they arrive at, at Hamptons. And so Aaron was like, listen, I'm going to be drunk for the next three days. So, you know, whatever I say is whatever I say. Okay. Okay. So then Brynn and Jessel and Rebecca are in the helicopter Brian, um, spilling champagne in her crotch, and she, cause she's trying to take a selfie in, um, in the helicopter. So then, Brian, you know, she always, she always gets to say something sexual. Ooh, I am so wet, and Jessel said, "Yes, yes, honey, and you stank now." <laughs> I don't know how uh, champagne gonna make you stank, but hey. It was cute to me. So, Cy and Uber, they're driving up. And they arguing over the heat in the car. Um, Cy is sweating to death. She driving. And Uber got a jacket on. And, and the, heat on, uh, the heat on hell, basically. <laughs> so, then Uber said she pulled a muscle in her arm. And Cy said, well, what you think it is? She said, I think it's stress. You know, um, but I don't, you know, I don't really want to rush it. Then she said that Oliver wants, and Oliver is Uber's boyfriend. She wants, he wants her to move in with him. And she was just like, she said, but I don't know. She said, what she said, she said, he trying, um, trying to get me into this gate. You know, Uber's African, African, so she can't really, um, congregate sentences like like she should but she was like yeah she he she said he want me to get into this gate and i was just like okay so basically um you trying to say he gonna lock you up mm -hmm. that's probably what he wanted to he want to lock you in so you can be married but you know it is what it is if you don't she said he got, he got a room that she can paint and everything like that i mean I, it, it, so he don't want you to move into his room. He wanted you to move in that to, to your room. I don't understand. I don't understand. So she said he got a room for her to to paint. Okay, okay. So you don't, he don't want you to move in his, to his room, or do do he want you to paint his room? I don't know, honey. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and Uber, you African, so I, I really don't understand what you're talking about. But it is what it is. <laughs> she said he got one. Then she starts talking about his feet, how he got some beautiful feet and everything like that. Sigh, dry heaving. <laughs> In the car. <laughs> I don't blame you You're talking about people's feet, man. She was like, "Oh yes, I love, I love to touch his feet." Mm -mm. No, 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 Uber. You, you miss me on on that. 
So then the ladies from the helicopter arrived. And so Erin got a little spread of food. She got some new, improved kitchen. This kitchen... This kitchen look like she just changed the countertops. That's it. It's still white. I think I think she may have some new cabinets, but the, they look the same as the old cabinets. <laughs> Everything. I mean, I was just like, so basically what it looked like you changed the countertops. Okay, that's nice. Because it it look honestly looked the same. It honestly looked the same. Okay. But you know, if you like it, I love it. If you like it, I love it. Mm-hmm. Anyway, okay. So, Sai and Uber arrive. Then, um, they ask about Raquel. Okay. And Raquel said... That she get car sickness. Because they asked why didn't Raquel ride with Uber and Sai. And so Aaron said um, that Raquel told her that she get car sickness. And they wouldn't let her ride in the front. <laughs> and Sai said, huh? <laughs> what? And so, and then... And Uber just got irritated. She was like, you guys playing telephone? I can't handle this. <laughs> I ain't got nothing. my African accent. Is... <laughs> you guys playing telephone? I can't handle it. You know. It, it is what it is. <laughs> so, Shai Sh- 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 shows um them the text message that does say... That, you know, they, they, it does say that she didn't ask to ride in the front seat. She said um, that Raquel said that um, that she could drive. And then Sai said, well, you can take a Dramamine. And so she thought that... <laughs> She thought that she was going to drive um, Sai's car. <laughs> so she she was going to drive up so she could be in the front seat. So she said she could drive. And then Sai said, honey, I know. She said this in a confessional. She was like, I know you, you, you didn't think you was going to drive my brand new car because she got a brand new Range Rover. Okay. She was just like, no, ain't ain't nobody driving my. She said, I don't know you like that. Ain't nobody driving my new car. I don't blame you on nothing either. I don't blame. Mm hmm. So it was just a, a it was just a communication issue, but you know, whatever the case may be, you know, um, Raquel uh, arrived in the dog on Porsche anyway. She drove her Porsche. <laughs> I mean, what's the difference? Okay, whatever. Come on. I think y'all making mountains out of molehills. And so Jenna arrives in her Bentley. Mm-hmm. Y'all arrives in her Bentley, honey. Yes, she did. But arrived in the brown Bentley. So, um, so then Bryn and Cy, oh, the helicopter girls, I'm sorry, arrived too. If I didn't say that earlier. But anyway, so Brian and Cy sit down, and they try to have a talk. Okay, this this how this going to go. <laughs> Brian says, if I did anything, um, if I have done anything to you, I am sorry. Okay, basically she was just like, whatever, whatever it is, I'm sorry. <laughs> can, can we, can we, um... Can we can we get back to being friends? Basically, that's what she that basically what she she was trying to get at. And so then Sai said, "Well, you haven't even heard my side." 
you told Jenna, I hate her. What were your intentions? So Brenna was like, uh, Brent, Brenna. Oh, I done made a whole name. <laughs> ah, ah, Brenna. Ah. Bren <laughs> calls Jenna into the room. And so, and so, Sai said to ask Jenna, who told you that I, that I hate you? And so she said, cause you said this girl. And Jenna said, I didn't specifically call out Brand. And that is the God's honest truth. She did not call out Brand. The the what what happened was they were at um Brand's event and um Jen, uh, Jenna as a sigh. Well no, Sai asked Jenna, who told you that I hated you? And then um, Jenna said, this one over here. That could have been Cy. And that, that could have been Jenna or Jessel. Not Jenna. I'm losing my mind. That could have been Bren or Jessel. Yeah, that could have been either one of them because both of them were sitting beside her. Okay. But um, Jenna told Cy. I've heard it numerous times that you were talking shit about me. Okay. <laughs> so a lot of people told me that you were talking shit about me behind my back. And Jenna says she don't care. <laughs> you know, but Sai in the confessional, she said, what you do with a old, old lady who can't remember anything. I take offense to that. I don't, I think uh, Jenna is about in her 50s. I take offense to that. Okay. Don't, mm -mm, don't, don't be called. Don't call, don't call Jenna old. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> she said, what, what do you do with an old lady that can't remember? You apologize and be like, I love you. <laughs> anyway um and so Bren said listen Sai if you told me that you hated Jenna I she said I would have told Jenna cause I love stirring the pot <laughs> hey Lee she admitted <laughs> she said I love stirring the pot you know, she says she says so. I would have told her if if you said that, but you know, I you know you didn't say that to me, so I don't, you know I don't know where you got that from, basically. But Aaron Aaron butts in and she said, well, she was talking aside. She said, well, she said, well, she said she didn't say that. Do you give her that? And so I said, yeah. And so then Brand was like, well, you are forgiven. For screaming at me <laughs> at my party, you know, because she was screaming at her, talking about not the day, Satan, not the day, <laughs> not the day, Satan. And uh, she was like, So you for you were forgiven for screaming at me? And so I said, Well, I ain't asked to be forgiven, <laughs> I don't regret any of that. Okay, so you, you, you got, you still got a little, um, uh, season one side mm -hmm. or season 14 side or whatever you still got that little side in you because you know you 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 still you supposed to be on your healing journey right but i see some of that little uh side from um last season coming out mm -hmm. she said because i'm i don't regret any of that not today satan not today <laughs> Anyway, they go back into the kitchen. And so, um, Brand still wants, uh, you know, a, a relationship with Sai. So she go over there and sneak a little hug and stuff. And they hug. And so Aaron was like, in the confessional, was like, well, all is forgiven for now. 
And I I agree. All is forgiven for now. Because uh, we, we don't know. So Aaron bring out some gifts. Um, she got some little baskets and got some little little stuff in the basket. And them some big baskets too. I was like, y'all, I want to be your friend. Y'all giving gifts like what, man? So she giving all the the people gifts. And then Jenna, who always brings gifts. That's why I love me some Jenna. She brought everybody some lingerie and heart and heart boxes and stuff like that i love it i love it i love it and and, and so um yeah uh so okay so she buy she bought everybody some lingerie right and so <laughs> brand got her panties on her head okay <laughs> but okay so then she brings Jessel, a a big gift, right? <laughs> so Jessel opened it, thinking she she got it going on. She was like, "Oh, I got I got it going on." So <laughs> she opened it, and it's a Christmas tree costume. <laughs> It's a Christmas tree costume because last season when she brought all the people lingerie, I think Jessel's was a little bigger, bigger on her because she was a little, a little meteor. She has since take, took took an Ozempic. I think she had some work done. She looking real good this season, real good, but she over dressing. Okay, we'll get to that in a minute. She is overdressing. But, so, so when she, and she put up the little negligee on or whatever, and she said she looked like a Christmas tree. So, she bought her a Christmas tree costume. And then she mad because everybody else got lingerie. And she get the Christmas tree costume. But, Jenna is the, the perfect host. And she brought her some lingerie too, but she 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 got her that Christmas tree outfit. That was good. That was on point, Jenna. Kudos, girl. Kudos. Let me give you some clap. That was good. <laughs> that was good. So um, so they all get dressed for dinner. So. Speaking of uh, uh, overdressing. <sighs> now, mind you, she was overdressed coming on. First of all, she was overdressed going on the subway with her husband to uh, to Chinatown to eat some Claire's biscuits or something. Okay. Then she was overdressed. To get on this helicopter. Because Aaron was like, where where are you going? You know, when she arrived in the Hamptons. Okay. So, then she, she gets dressed. And, um, <laughs> it was a, basically, it was just like a, it was like a beaded dress. And it was see-through, and she had some spanks on under there, and it looked it looked so tacky to me, to me. Okay, it looked so tacky and overdressed. Okay, these people got on jeans, <laughs> people got on pants, they got on you know just comf- comfortable wear. Where, but it was fly comfortable wear but but she had on a literally a beaded dress that was see through where are you going Jessel I know you done got some work done I know you done lost some weight okay but you overdressing and I I I put it it put me Put me in mind of um, Real Housewives of Potomac. 
you know, that first season that Wendy was there, Dr. Wendy was there and she was like buttoned up and all that other stuff. And um, I guess people were commenting, commenting on, you know, how, what she looked like and stuff like that. So that next season, honey, she got she got some work done. She got some new boobs. She got a new butt. She got everything done. And she got new hair, and and then all the clothes kept it, it. It was fly to death. But sometimes she was overdressed, or she was just like like when she had that little Sierra outfit on, and you know uh, where she had that little leotard, that white leotard, and and then you can see the size of it, it was not cute, you know, and so you know I think when she came back the next season she was overdressing. You know, for the occasion, just like Jessel. Jessel, you, you, you have overdressed every, every scene that you have been in. Next to the pajama scenes. <laughs> but if you going out, you overdress. Okay. Hopefully your dressing will calm down a little bit. But for right now, it's not cute at all. But anyway, so, um. Uh, Raquel, they go to dinner. Raquel said that, uh, she got, uh, um, Bryn was asking Raquel, you know, or, you know, what, what's, what's going on with her and how she came about. She's asking her, her history, basically. Just, just being nosy. So she said that she was a, a model in the, nineties. Uh, and, um, she said, also, she was an art buyer, art buyer, and I, and I get, I um, uh, I would, I, 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 I'm, I am, excuse me, I am reminded that Whitley was on a different world, and she was an art buyer in the '90s, but apparently, art buying in the '90s was not really uh good for black women okay so she said the um the museums or um whatever did not want to sell their art to her for whatever reason it was probably because you she was a black woman she said even the um she couldn't even buy the black art you know so but she persevered she has a be- i guess a wonderful art collection because she lo- she loans it to TV shows museums and all that other stuff so she got listen she, i guess she got she got some pieces and stuff and so um yeah so she said that she loans them to TV shows she said i guess she was um uh, uh something about the artists on uh empire she does some 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 of her their art on empire and stuff like that so then they ask about mel mel is a forensic neuropsychologist i don't know what that is but it sounds sexy <laughs> and, and brian was like yes i got a boner <laughs> It sound real sexy, okay? <laughs> but she is a forensic neuropsychologist, okay? <laughs> yeah, so then um, Raquel is telling, telling the girls about how Mel proposed to her. It was cute. Yeah, whatever. So then, um, then... She shows them her engagement ring, and uh, they they really making fun of it in the confessional. They didn't make fun of it at the table, but they made fun of it in the confessional. Okay, yeah, they did. Uh huh. Yeah, but it was a big old gaudy ring. It it wouldn't it couldn't be for me, but you know if that that's what she wanted. Hey, you like it? I love it. Then Brian. You know, had this epiphany that she wants to be a lesbian. <laughs> I mean, just 
find a girlfriend. Oh, I, what, what's the problem? She won't, she won't Jenna, but she won't Jenna because she got money. That's the thing. Okay. I don't think, I don't think, you know, she won't. <laughs> yeah. She won't Jenna cause she, she want, she want to be a sugar baby. You know, so if, if, if it's a woman that she, is she rich, she, she fine with, if it's a man, he rich, she fine with, she want to be a sugar baby, whatever. So she want Jenna, you know, so she can, so she can be taken care of. That's all. And I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. Okay. If somebody want to take care of me, thank you. And I appreciate it. <laughs> I don't want to work this hard. I don't want to work this hard. So I'm not mad at it. Okay. But but she want to be a lesbian. Just find find a rich girlfriend. You can't find just a regular girlfriend. You got to find a rich girlfriend because that's what you want. Okay. So Jenna said, I came out at 43. (laughs) And so... Uh, Jenna said, how old are you? She said, 38. She said, she said, you got some time. <laughs> you got some time. <laughs> and Brian was like, tick tock, Jenna. Mm-hmm. She just want Jenna because she, she rich. But, you know, Jenna got a girlfriend. And uh, Raquel got a girlfriend. So, you're going to have to expand your horizons, basically. So, then they asked Rebecca what... what um, where what her, what her history is she said she from san diego she moved to florida and then she left as soon as possible and then she moved to new york at 18 and then she got with a boyfriend um she got with a boyfriend just for her his apartment <laughs> i'm not mad at that either she said yeah she said yeah i i, I she said yeah she said i i I just wanted to get out of my living situation. So I got with him just so I can move into his apartment. I'm not mad at it. But then when they separated, he said, you got to go. You got to go. And I listen, I ain't mad at that either. You know, it's his apartment. You know, you weren't going to get his apartment because y'all broke up. That don't make no sense. Anyway, so then she said, she couldn't go back to her room because she rented a room somewhere. She couldn't go back there because her her ex boyfriend took that room because she told him to move to New York too, and so he took that room. And so so she was like, and everybody was like, well, you should have got that room back. And and she and and they was like, you know, I you I don't like him. I don't like him because he took your room. And she was like, no, that was my ex boyfriend. He was uh, a person I lost my virginity to at sixteen. And so, um, she was like, yeah, he was my high school boyfriend. And then she said she lost her virginity at sixteen. She said her parents said, um, if you don't do drugs, um. Basically, you you can have sex. <laughs> Basically, you can have sex if you don't if you don't uh, do drugs. So they put her on the birth control pill, and so they let her have sex. But <laughs> it, but she didn't she didn't do drugs. Listen, I got a seventeen year old that I, that don't fly. You you don't do drugs at all, sex dog on it. Mm-mm. We ain't playing that. We not playing that in this house. Okay, so they go back to the house. They get ready for bed. So Uber stirring the pot. Okay, so Uber was like, um, she's talking to I think Jessel and Aaron. She said, you know, I am I am scared to open up around these bitches. She was like, she said because they 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 keep twisting shit. And, um, and she said, and everyone is a pigeon. And Jessel was like, what? <laughs> she said, and she said, um, she said, a carrier pigeon. She said, yes, a carrier pigeon. And Aaron started laughing. <laughs> and so 
And I was just like, okay. And then uh, Brim comes down and they said, you know, Jessel said, well, we talking about you because apparently they were. <laughs> and so Aaron asked Brim, um, you think your stuff with um, Psy is resolved? And Brim said, yeah, everything is fine. And then Uba's like, you are not fine. Um, Psy said, huh? She said, um, you didn't, you didn't let, and she said, Sai came to me and you, she said that you didn't let her speak and you called her a manipulator. And Brent said, okay, we have a friendship and we're working on it. And Uba said, um, Uba said, y'all not working on it. And so they go back and forth, her and Brent, Uba and Brent. And then Brent said, well, it was fine. You know, before we talked, and Uber said, um, "Well, Sai came to me after you talked." And Brent said, "Well, <laughs> well, she yelled at me in public, and so she said, so don't go there with me.'" And Uber said, "I'm not going. I'm not going there with you. Um, you sweeping stuff under the carpet. I mean, Uber was on one. Okay, Uber." was on one first of all uba come here girl y'all not <laughs> this is not your fight okay this is not your fight and i don't understand why why um I don't understand <laughs> why you are so vested in that. Okay? I don't understand that. I don't understand that at all. <laughs> but this is not your fight, Uber. This is not your fight. But anyway... Then that's what Brand said too. Brand said, "This is not your fight." I apologized to her. She didn't apologize to me for yelling at me. And Oba said, "When did that happen?" And Aaron and uh, Aaron was like, "Yeah, that that did happen." She didn't apologize to uh, to uh, Brand. She was like, "So," and Brand was like, "Get your facts straight." But Oba, this is not your fight. This is not your fight. So they go, they go to bed, and then they wake up the next day. Aaron said Jessel was wearing, uh, Jessel, uh, she told Brand that Jessel's dress looked like anal beads. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So then they order some breakfast, and they're in the back sitting talking, and then um, Brand, um. So no, okay. So, so then they they're sitting down at, at, at the table. So Brian says to Jessel, not Jessel, uh, Jenna, you think your uh, Bentley is gonna break down? And so Jenna says, yeah, that's why I travel with uh, Aaron, <laughs> so she can she can pay for the Uber. So Aaron said. Uh, she said, yeah, you dripped in diamonds, but you can't pay for an Uber. <laughs> Jenna said, well, I was just making sure you can afford it. She's talking to Aaron. I was just making sure you can afford it. <laughs> and then Aaron said, yeah, this is, that's a big strain on my finances. <laughs> they just, they just ragging on each other. And I, and I thought it was funny. I thought it was hilarious. Okay. <laughs> But then, <laughs> but then Uber <sighs> says, what did she say? Um, Uber said, um, I think she said, yeah, she said, I think, uh, that's the reason why Sai is not here. Cause Sai wasn't there. She was just getting dressed. Okay. 
But she said, oh, I, I, I think this, that's why Sai is not here. And so Jenna was like, why? Is she upset? And she said, yeah, she's tired of being uh, used as a pump. And she said, pan. <laughs> and so Jessel said, pan. And then she said, used as a pawn. And she said, yeah, a pawn. Come on, come on, Uber. If you, if you don't know what you're talking about, <laughs> you need to shut up. Okay. <laughs> used as a pan. Uh -huh, whatever. <laughs> and then Uba's like, this this group got a lot of miscommunications. And so Brand said, well, maybe people should stop using spokespeople and just speak to the people directly. Uba, who, you know. And so Uba was like, I'm not her spokesperson. And so... Then Rebecca gon gon say in the say she said yeah you the client <laughs> you the client you not the spokesperson you the client <laughs> Rebecca that was good too girl <laughs> y'all good <laughs> so then side come out and she was like what happened. Um, I'm, I'm recording. <laughs> yeah, she, um, she said, what happened? And so then, um, Rebecca, um, <laughs> so, um, Rebecca said, Uber is speaking on your behalf. <laughs> Rebecca, I likes you. Okay. I likes you. Okay. So. Um, so Brent said, Uber, you need to watch your language. Cause I think, uh, I think, oh, she said, then Uber said that you are a snake and, uh, nobody sees you coming. Now, Uber, you need to <laughs> just bring it down. You know, this reminds me of last season when Uber went off on Aaron about her sunglasses it didn't make no sense just like this don't make no sense how uber is just over the top um about size and brand's relationship it ain't even about uber and brand relationship it ain't even about uber and side relation it's about side and brand's relationship what Step back, sister girl. Step back. Okay. So, the brand was like, listen, you know, you need to, you know, stop name calling. You need to let let people, you know, use your words, basically. You know, but she, you know, she African, so she don't even know how to con congregate sentences like she want to be. And so I think that's the reason why she just start calling names because, and Sai, ain't, I mean, uh, Brand ain't ain't with that because you know she said, listen, you know, name calling is for you know, uh, <laughs> undumb people basically, unsmart people, you know, you got to use your words. And so, um, uh, Uber was about to you know go off on. Uh, Brynn, and then <laughs> Sai says, Pineapple! <laughs> Pineapple! <laughs> and then, um, <laughs> Uba was like, okay. <laughs> and everybody was like, what in the world? <laughs> is that, is she said, is that the cold word? What is going on? She was like, <laughs> literally, Sai was like, pineapple. <laughs> I guess that's the cold word that they use. If, I guess, if, if she, she uh, going off the rails, you know, 
And it did work because she she went mute after that. <laughs> and so that's really what what where the story is. <laughs> and so Aaron tells um Uber that she thinks um Brand eventually is going to blow up. And so Uber said, Good luck, pigeon. <laughs> And that's where the episode ends. I just don't understand. I just don't understand. But, like I said, give me a thumbs up. (laughs) Uh, Like and share, subscribe. And I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.